So, um, to basically make like your own like holy effects donuts, you're basically gonna need a pack. I don't know. You, if you have any other way, you can you, you can do that. You can use like so. So I don't know. So like, you go to Panzoid, then you can you can go into Clip Maker or whatever you wanna go in. Then you can you have to go to here. You can use those. Sh you're gonna go to sh you're gonna press the object. Go to shape. You can you can do a rectangle or 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 donut, whatever you can do. But it's gonna, but donut but donut's gonna take a long time. So then I'm gonna go to custom. Put the preference the appearance. So you can put the roughness to zero and minimus to zero. Then you're gonna go to transparency. And then you're gonna go to texture. And then. I'm gonna go to my pack if you have the if you have the pack. I guess I'm gonna use uh, the this pack I guess because I feel like it's it's much more better. Uh, presets I guess I'm gonna use. Oh no, it shapes. I guess I'm gonna use this for now because I feel like that's good. Then you're gonna size it. To the appropriate size as possible. Then you're gonna. Uh, then you can put another shape. So, like this one, for example. So, uh. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay, I guess that's good. Uh oh no 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 Okay, so now that this is done, okay, so we're not done yet. We just gotta add a shape, put it in front of the no actually that's the that's the donut. Then you're gonna select the shape, go up here, gonna turn it black, make it go up a little bit. Then you're gonna cover it like halfway. You can move it a little bit, like cover it halfway, I suppose. Like that. Then you can create a group. And then you have to drag the, sh the rectangles out. Then you can make it a loop or something, or I suppose. You can make it go up one time, or possibly ten times. No, actually. I'm gonna make it go up one time. Ah, uh, so the shape isn't really on the whole entire screen, so I guess I'm gonna like sh size it down. I'm gonna use it to a different texture just in case. Then, like this, for example, yeah, that's nice. It looks nice right now. So now that we're done with that, I guess we can, like, hold on, I'm gonna get a little fancy. Uh-oh, that's not right, that's not right. Nope, nope, nope. And... I can get, get you can get creative with this, I guess. Or whatever. Oh, but I'm gonna make it a uh, uh, white for this for this tutorial. So now that oh wait, I just little buzz. So now that we're done with that, we can use snipping tool, or snip and sketch. I'm gonna use snip and sketch for this. First, what we gotta do when we not we're not gonna use the snip and sketch yet. We're gonna size it so it has a good quality, and not all choppy. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if this is gonna like my home, my my recording, but who knows? Then we're going to select the whole one tile, weld or something or whatever. Okay, I'm gonna size this down so it doesn't like that much. Okay, now that we're done with this, we can trim it a little bit. We can like. 
swim it. Or whatever it's called. And then there we go. It looks nice. Hold on, I think I think I forgot to ask. There we go. So now that we're done with that, we can save it to anywhere we we want to save it. I'm gonna save it where my things are. I'm just gonna name name it some random. And what we're gonna go to is pixel. We can make it transparent. Maybe we can just get rid of that. Then what we're gonna do? We're gonna go to the file we we put the we put the the no I don't. Want then we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go to the file that we put the the thing in, like over here. And then we're gonna get the. We're gonna press the scissors icon, the cutting icon. We're gonna do magic mask. Boom! It's all gone. Then we're gonna save it. Save that. Okay, so now that we save that, we're gonna replace it in the file we put it in. So, textures, toggles. We're gonna replace it. Yeah, we'll place the file and destination. Because we don't need a non transparent one. So now that we have uh, the, the, that, we can get fancy with it. We can make the we can make an intro with it. We're gonna make it uh we're gonna make it good, so yeah, so I'm just gonna do. So first, what we need to have is a uh, is a background. Oh, what's on the one tab? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna need a background. And then I'm gonna go shapes. Put rectangle. And I'm gonna drag this the rectangle inside the group and then call that BG and then make the rectangle one hundred minus one hundred feet away or whatever it's called. Then we're gonna put the width to 1,000. Oh, whoa, 1,000. And then we're gonna close that because we don't need it. Uh, but I'm gonna make it red just in case. So it's just in case if I don't see it. Then we're gonna make this, and we're, and then we're gonna call this rotation. And then we're gonna make another group, and then we're gonna put the group inside that group. We're gonna call that control or whatever it's called. I'm gonna put all two rotation for the Then we're gonna put this, and then we're gonna put a rectangle in there, and then we're going to put a custom as usual. Then we're gonna make the texture. Uh, then we're gonna make the texture. We're gonna get put the we're gonna input the texture on here. Then we're gonna make the texture. One, one thousand and five, one thousand five hundred, and then one eighty. Now it might look bad, just because it's too size. So we're gonna like mess around with the repeat. I'm gonna mess around with the repeat. Then we're going to if it's like if it's like showing like these like repeat things we can just like size it up like that and yeah we we're, we're almost done with it but we what we need to do now we have to go to the rotation put it minus five point nine degrees and make it one hundred and eighty. Then we're gonna make it go back. 100, 190. There we go. 
them. Just give me a moment. There we go. I feel, I feel like that's good. So now we have this now. So we're gonna mess around with the control. We're gonna put it like all the way back or something. Like at the end point. Also, I realize if it's like. Yeah, we have to do that. Because it shows like the end point of the. So, uh, just give me a moment. Okay, we're almost done. Okay, so we're gonna make it like right over there, like it shows the tip. So then we're going to like, you can, you can, you you can sync it with the beat. I'm gonna try to do that. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a a, a song or something, or whatever. Um, <laughs> and I must have used that. Don't get me copyright. Don't get me copyright, please. I don't care if I get copyright. I just. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna put the fade out or something it, like if it stops like that. I don't even hear it. Of course, I don't even hear it. Oh yeah. So now that I got the song now, wait, hold on, let's just see if it's recording. Yep, it's recording. Yeah, I have to, I'm gonna amplify a little bit. Hey, okay, okay, that was good. That looks nice. That's now good. So now that we have the song, now I edited it, I, 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 uh, I'm a stuttering a lot. So now, we're gonna go to the control, you know, and then we're gonna, now it's like that. Now, it's, this is my way, if you want to do it holy effects this way, I, like, provided a tutorial thing, link in the description, I don't know, but it's nice. Okay, so you can sync it a little bit, so I put the key, I put the force key frame, I make it none, at the, at the beat, where it hits the beat, or like the bass drop or something, I don't know. <coughs> So I make it uh, the bass drop. I put the keyframe in the bass drop. So you know. So then, once 
the 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 net like the like the first beat of the song hit the like first beat of the song hit like place. I put the keyframe there and then I put uh, and then I put circular out and then I make it uh five five hundred. Wait, is it minus? Yeah, it's minus. So it's it's six hundred and eighty two and then I basically make minus it like one hundred or something. Like imagine that's one hundred no two one thousand and sixty and I make it five hundred. One one thousand and five hundred one thousand five hundred. You have to do that with every single keyframe. So one hundred four hundred. Put elastic out. Now if it's like slow something, I can basically I'm gonna make it like two hundred because this is this is yeah it's doing the two hundred doing this doing the job really well. Okay, ninety. Seventy. No, sixty I think. Fifty, forty, forty, no, forty. No, it's one hundred. Then I put it to like a minus one hundred or something. I'm not sure, but like uh, I guess minus. No, it's two hundred. Then if you want to make it end or something, I guess you can just basically copy and paste, copy this, uh, this, I guess, and then you can put a minus or something. Yeah, I don't have the light repeat, so I guess this is that's how I do it. Oh my gosh, this stinks in this thing. So now that we're done with that one, we're gonna duplicate it. We're gonna make it 190 without the minus, and then we're gonna get rid of the one 180. And it's gonna do this. So if it's like broken like that, no worries, you can fix it by moving it a little bit. 
And if it's on center wood, you can get a glue, put put the put the shapes in there. You're gonna put a rectangle. You're gonna make it 50, I guess. And then you can like move it a little bit, or whatever. Or possibly I could basically, yeah. There we go. So that's how you make like holy effects. Like, I guess it's it's nice. I, I yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it's it's yeah. Okay, stuck in a lot. Okay, so that's how you make holy effects stuff. Yeah, that's 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 the end of the video, guys. 